Hello, my name is Jason Dobies and I'm with the Red Hat Cloud Platforms Business Unit. Today we are going to be looking at the Couchbase operator in OpenShift 4.0. To install the operator, an administrator starts with the operator hub. This is where administrators can see all of the operators that can be installed into the cluster. The Couchbase operator is installed into a specific namespace as compared to being cluster-wide. Once the admin has installed the operator into a project, we can change back to the user that owns the project. The user can view all installed operators accessible to be used by the project through the installed operators menu item. Before we install the Couchbase cluster, we'll need to set up a secret with authentication credentials ahead of time. This secret contains the username and password for the Couchbase cluster that will be created. The Couchbase operator introduces a new resource type into Kubernetes called the Couchbase cluster. This allows users to use the OpenShift API as they would with any other Kubernetes resource. When the Create Couchbase Cluster option is selected, we see the normal YAML interface for interacting with OpenShift. One new feature in OpenShift 4 is a context-sensitive autocomplete when editing YAML files for resources. In this example, we update the auth secret field to refer to the previously created secret containing the username and password to use when creating the cluster. When viewing a particular custom resource, this tab shows all of the individual pieces that are created by the operator. In this case, we will see the pods begin to be created that will form the Couchbase cluster. Operator metadata contains UI clues that can be used to show configuration options for the resources created by the operator. We use the Expose Console option to trigger the deployment of the web UI pod in our Couchbase cluster. Once the UI service is running, we need to create a route so we can externally access the console. Using that route, we can access the web UI for the Couchbase cluster that we just deployed. The credentials for logging into the console are the same as those specified in the secret that we use when creating the cluster. Another configuration option exposed by the Couchbase operator is the ability to set the number of pods that will run in the cluster. Here we edit the YAML definition directly to change the size of the cluster from three pods up to four. The Couchbase operator monitors for changes to the Couchbase custom resource. When it detects that the size has changed, new pods are created to support the new configuration. The operator also contains domain-specific knowledge for dealing with Couchbase clusters. The newly created node is added to the Couchbase cluster itself, and rebalancing is triggered to take advantage of the new resources. Thank you for joining me. Be sure to watch for more videos on OpenShift 4 functionality in the future.